Hi beautiful people, Poetic Angel. I'm back to do another hair review with you. And um, this hair is actually from um, AliExpress. I ordered a short bob wig and this is um, Honey Blonde. And the color that I ordered is 1B27. Now I believe there's two um, different colors and that's the one I chose. This is supposed to be a um, lace front pixie bob and it says that the knots are already bleached. It can be dyed, can be permed. The lace color is in medium brown. The hair type's Brazilian. And the hair grade is Remy. Cap size says fits average size head. So you ladies already know that when you buy stuff on AliExpress, let me just break this down for you. When you look at the pictures on AliExpress, it's pictures that were taken from another company. And that company might be selling hair that's like really pricey, like up there in price. So of course, the photos are gonna be like awesome photos. So when you purchase from these vendors, do not expect your wig to look anything like what you're actually um, looking at on the pictures it's gonna be a miracle okay if it comes out looking like that so this is my package that came so it took a while because um i don't know what's been going on with custom uh custom and their you know packaging whatever i don't know but um it took about two weeks to come and it's finally here so i get to show you um inside their bag you get a double pack of um tan colored stocking cap and then this is the wig now i already can tell you that this is not uh the color that i actually ordered so it says here eight inches and 180 density and this is the wig now my info will be in the description box as well as the direct link to the store so just in case i left anything out um, please reach out to me via email or text whichever way doesn't matter so yeah this is the color that came um the actual color that i ordered is more like you see how this is like looking like really blonde right in this spot yeah that's exactly how the actual picture looks and i'm gonna go ahead and use that as my thumbnail so you will see that it's not this color okay so this is the wig it's dark at the roots and then at the ends i don't i i really don't know what color this is I don't know I really don't but let's just go over the cap construction for a minute okay so as far as shedding I'm not getting any right now the cap construction you get one comb in the back you get your adjustable straps <laughs> and in the front of the wig you get three combs for extra security <laughs> and this is the actual parting area which is right here in the front so um yeah i'm still trying to figure out what color this is it, it's i don't even know if i want to call it brown it's kind of like a off <laughs> okay let me just try this wig on i'm not even gonna remove the lace <laughs> okay so i came up with a color it's burnt orange <laughs> it doesn't even look like it's burnt but yeah um anyway so this is where i've adjusted the straps so therefore you will further know if this will fit you know a bigger size head than mine and i think i have a pretty big head you know so yeah let's do a wig swap <laughs> i swear to god it's like a travesty i don't even know what color that is at all like some kind of a dirty, burned out blonde. Okay, I'm trying to fix this wig. I'm trying, I really am. <clears throat> you know what I look like? I look like Rod Stewart in that video. Forever young.
Okay, so I know it looks crazy with the lace in place, but I'm just going to show you this wig. So fitting wise, there is room for um, a bigger size head. First of all, let's get that out of the way. Um, she does fit ear to ear really nice. Like it just sits in place. Okay, got to give it that much props. So this is the actual hairline. So it's pre-plucked but you can always go in and pluck some more. Now I have a phobia with that, okay? This is my thing. For what I'm paying for these wigs, I wanna keep all the hair, okay? I wanna keep all the hair. Cause people already know I'm wearing a wig. They already know it's not mine, okay? So I'm not gonna be doing all that and doing all the baby hairs and all that stuff. I want my wigs to last more than forever. <laughs> okay, yeah, if you get what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm not trying to take hair out. I'm trying to keep the hair in. So yeah, but this looks pretty decent. Um, I don't know, the color though, like it, it really, I'm telling you, I'm gonna use their photo as the thumbnail. And if you can just look closely, see this is somewhat kind of like what I ordered, but over here, it looks like when you dip something in Kool-Aid and it gives you that kind of pinkish look whatever anyways um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh try to let me just show you the back of this wig because i don't even know what's going on right now <laughs> let me turn around and show you this wig <laughs> so this is the back of the wig yeah this is the back of the wig this is what it looks like I mean, it's cute. I just don't know what color to classify this as. It, it's supposed to be a 1B27. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's supposed to be a 1B27, but I don't know. I like it. I just don't like the color. All right, I'm going to... um take the lace off and then yeah I'm just gonna take the lace off and I'm gonna add a little water and some mousse and call it a day <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. okay so I have concocted some uh, contraption here this is not coconut water this is water mixed with Garnier condition because I cannot find my spray bottle so I'm gonna put this in but I want to cut this lace off first and I should have just taken the wig off and do this but I'm just gonna try to cut it while I'm wearing it you want to cut as close to the hairline as possible without cutting off the lace that's holding the hair in place so that's what I'm trying to do right now. Doing a crappy job, but whatever. So yeah, so what I'm what I'm gonna do with this wig, I'm gonna actually um, bleach the hair some more myself. Bleach bleach it to the color that I actually want it to be. Okay, so now I'm cutting into my lace and I don't want to cut into my lace. See, I just do not try this at home. I'm gonna take the wig off and I'll trim the lace. I'll be back. That hair in my mouth. Okay, so this is it with the lace off. I can literally not even glue the side, just pull some of my hair out on the sides and add water because I hate to put so much glue all over my the front of my face but yeah this is the hairline and let me show you the back again that's the back so what I'm gonna do now is just add some water to this hair and let me show you where's my mousse all right so I'm gonna add a little bit of what I found, which is the Herbal Essence Mousse. 
and I'll add some water. Because pretty much that's all you can do with this. Oh, I'm forgetting the main thing, the parting space. How rude. Let's do a middle part. Just in case you want to wear this a little bit, you know. So this is all you're getting for a parting space, probably about two inches. Yeah, it's not much parting in the front. It's just this, like, right in this area. So that's all you're gonna get. So you could do a little side part. And that's pretty much it. All right, so if I left anything out, you know what to do. Hit me up down below or you can email me and send a text message or whatever so let's add some water and move snow all right change of plans <laughs> so I found my actual um, products that I like to use so I'm gonna use this stuff it's um mark Anthony and it's true professional curl define lotion I'm going to also use the actual leave-in conditioner and I'm going to be using some olive oil foam wrap. Did I spray you guys? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so this is the wig with all that stuff added to it. And I wish I had my diffuser that I ordered. It's not here yet, but this is what it looks like. So far, I'm gonna add just a little bit of um, L'Oreal True Match to give it a little scalp effect here. So, yeah, I kind of gave it just that little um, one and a half inch side part. So I'm adding some powder now. All right, my queen. So this is it with that little side part. And I know y'all gonna have plenty to say. And so do I. So I'm just not feeling the color on this. So I'm gonna um, bleach the hair some more and try to lighten it up a little bit if this wig looked anything like that picture that they showed it would be bomb okay but it, the color is just i don't even know what color this is like and i don't want to lie to you but anyways i'm going to give you the information on this store where i purchased this here um it is on aliexpress the vendor is melinda's store and this is their honey blonde Honey Blonde. Okay. Uh, short bob, lace front, pre-plucked. Knots are bleached. I mean, the hairline doesn't look that bad. Um, but yeah, I'll put everything down below for you. I, I don't even know what else to, to show you with this wig. I mean, like I said, it would be so much more beautiful if it was the actual color that I ordered and pretty much this is it let me just give you another 360 before i wrap this up that's all for today yeah i don't know what else to say i don't I'm gonna work on this color because yeah I have to I have to all right my queens thank you for tuning in if you have not yet subscribed to my channel there's a little gray box in that lower corner go ahead and click that show me some love like and share this video give me a thumbs up for this I don't know what kind of review this was but give me a thumbs up <laughs> please do not forget to enable your um, 
YouTube notification so you won't miss out on any future uploads. And if you are a new subscriber, I just want to say welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing and showing the love. And to all my subbies, you already know, I love you and I appreciate you. So until my next hair review, Poetic Angel, one love. Mwah.